Tyler Fuller here on YouTube actually sat down and did an interview with Steve, who is SF Investigates. So I decided to listen to it this morning and I'm going to go ahead and give you guys a little rundown of what I thought was important. First off, the very first thing that he confirms for me is that Placer County did indeed tell Adventures with a Purpose that that sector where Kylie's car was found had already been deemed sweeped and cleared. Can you imagine knowing that you told this rescue team not to go and look somewhere because your team already did it and you were so arrogant that you didn't want anyone else going in and double checking your work and now the entire world is going to know that not only did you fail to see this child literally a hundred yards from the party where y'all had all been walking around and looking for weeks now then you acted extremely rude and salty and aggravated at the fact that they actually found her well, I hope Placer County is ready for the backlash they're going to receive from this. Because if Adventures with Purpose would have listened, would we have ever known that she was in there? And apparently, Placer County got aggravated with the fact that AWP and technically Steve with SF Investigates notified the family that the vehicle had been found. And Steve made a good point. He was like, so they alerted everybody that they found a burial site before they knew that there was dog bones in it. But we find the actual vehicle with the verified license plate and they're mad that he told the family. That makes no sense. Something else that I verified today was that the FBI are the ones who currently have Kylie's SUV. And this is what I thought I heard during the press conference, but again, verbiage totally matters, right? The FBI is going to be doing the entire investigation of the vehicle. And then the Placer County Police Department are going to just be going over the data given to them by the FBI. So local law enforcement are not even going to do their own investigation? Why? So anyone who's saying that this is just an accident, okay, the FBI would still not be involved and be the only ones doing the inspection on the vehicle if they just thought that this was a teenage accident. Another thing he said is that apparently AWP got a confidential tip to look elsewhere other than the campground on top of what Placer County told them about it being officially swept or whatever. And he can't say anything about what that tip is, but apparently it came from the locals. And the conversation about how the locals are being so quiet about everything came up. And the only thing that he said was... A bunch of the college going kids didn't want to say anything because it would jeopardize them going to college. How would an accident jeopardize you and your college endeavors? How would reporting that you saw a girl's car go into the water stop you from going to college? If this was literally just an accident, then why not say anything? To the point to where there's really only like two people stating that Kylie was even at the party. All these apparently hundreds of other people all decided to just not say anything. Like, I know that anonymous tips don't always like lead to finding the truth about stuff because you can't get back in contact with the anonymous person to get more information or details or whatever. But there's no way that there wasn't multiple people that saw her go into the water, heard her go into the water. They were right there. And this was the exact same time that everyone was leaving, apparently. This is the time that everyone was taking off. How could no one have not, how could no one have seen her? She went one way and everyone else went the opposite direction. She was the only vehicle that left the party in that herd that went that way and no one saw it? The sketchy behavior with the kids is the biggest problem for anyone who still thinks that this is foul play. Now granted, these are teenagers, but these teenagers are not normal teenagers these days, okay? I'm a parent of one, two of them. These are not normal teenagers. They comprehend more adult situations and scenarios and put themselves in way more adult situations and scenarios 
than they need to because they think they're grown. And not just that, but we've seen the cases, guys. We've seen minors violently murder their friends, their family members, decapitate, cut them apart, shoot them in the head, throw them in water, okay? We've heard the stories. We've seen what people under the age of 18 can be capable of. Now, I'm not trying to say that I think that they sinisterly did anything to her, but I think they're covering up something. They're definitely covering something up and they definitely, especially the two, especially the one, okay, definitely know something more about that night than what they're telling everyone. But one thing that I know that SF Investigates has stated on his Twitter is that Mag's leaving 10 minutes after getting to the party, apparently there was like a super, super valid reason. And he says that once the information can be released, it's going to totally make sense to everybody, but he definitely understands why it's sort of a red flag for people. He was asked about the location of Kylie's body in the vehicle. And he was asked specifically about if it was in the back of the car and about the seat belt. Now he knows the answers to these things, but he's not going to say, which obviously he can't. The, the law enforcement, FBI, whoever's going to do that is going to tell us that. But the autopsy is supposed to be getting done today, started today. So who knows when we're going to get those results back. So for now we wait. And up next I will be doing a little update on the Jolisa Fuentes case. Bye y'all.